String theory, what is it? Firstly, it's not the type of string that you're probably thinking of right now. But wait a second, don't let go of that thought just yet. You might be wondering, what is this string made out of, exactly? I mean, sure, I could say that this string is made out of cotton, but then, what is that made from? We could keep going, breaking down each smaller piece into even smaller pieces, from cotton to cellulose to molecules. We would eventually reach the atom, the building block of our universe. We would then find that the atom is made out of even tinier parts called electrons and quarks. Simply put, these particles cannot be broken down any further. They are fundamental. But is that really the case? Introducing strings. Strings are one-dimensional filaments, so to speak. These strings would make up all of our current fundamental particles, so in reality, they would truly be the most fundamental thing in the universe. The strings resonate at different frequencies and can exist in an open state, which means their ends don't touch each other, or a closed state, meaning their ends come together in a loop. These different states that strings exist in give the particles their properties, determining how they function. To put it simply, this can be thought of as a stringed instrument. Each string of this guitar has a different property, such as tension or length. All of these features act together to determine the final sound that the string produces. But what is the need for string theory? In our universe exist four forces, electromagnetism, gravity, and the strong and weak nuclear forces. String theory attempts to unify electromagnetism and the strong and weak nuclear forces into one theory, which would provide us with a grand unified theory, helping explain why charges of particles behave in the way they do. String theory could also help explain something called quantum gravity, a theory which attempts to combine general relativity and quantum mechanics, in other words, explaining gravity in the quantum world. Incorporating gravity into our previously mentioned grand unified theory can help provide us with a theory of everything, a theory that links together and explains all physical aspects of the universe. One big problem in string theory has been the need for more dimensions. Super string theory requires 10. The deeper we look, the more abstract physical concepts become. We can never truly visualize a string or extra dimensions, however, we can explain and predict their interactions and functions through abstract mathematics. If we look at three dimensions, a point would be represented with three values, showing position in space on three axes. With four dimensions, we can't visualize another set of axes, but mathematically four dimensions could be a function with three inputs and one output. String theory works with equations with many variables, and to describe them, we need more dimensions. But how could we try to explain these dimensions visually? When we try to think of 10 dimensions, it's extremely difficult to picture, absurd almost. Let me try to make this concept a little more accessible. If we look at a building from far away, it may only appear as a certain amount of dimensions. This represents the amount of dimensions that we can currently observe with our eyes. Perhaps you can see some windows on the building or the flat surface of the building. But if we suddenly get much closer to the building, we can observe a lot more detail. Maybe we can see cracks in the building or the rotation on a railing, something we wouldn't be able to see from far away. In string theory, this would be described as compactification. This would mean that dimensions close up on themselves, creating dimensions that would be too small to see. The structure for these dimensions is known as a Calabi-Yau manifold, and the extra six dimensions in superstring theory would take up this shape. When dealing with multiple dimensions, we can describe them as physical objects that propagate through space-time, called brains. Brains exist on every dimension, and strings can interact through them, depending on their open or closed state. This could prove why the force of gravity is so weak. If the graviton was described by a closed string that could propagate through dimensions, we would only have little access to this force. Of course, this is only beginning to scratch the surface of the complexities and nuances of string theory. In the scientific world, there is still a lot to be done in terms of empirical data, but for now, string theory is an interesting and compelling way of explaining how our universe functions.